Astronomers have achieved a decisive breakthrough in their investigation of 3i Atlas, with generous assistance from Mars. For the first time, experts have succeeded in significantly refining the trajectory of an interstellar object with the help of space probes. The ESA probes ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express provided additional data from a completely new perspective and refined the trajectory of our visitor by a factor of 10. However, these measurements are not only important for the current observation of 3i Atlas, they're also important in the event that a space rock ever comes dangerously close to us. Today, we'll show you what valuable information our Mars outposts have collected and what the future holds for 3i Atlas. When 3i Atlas was discovered by an Atlas telescope in Chile on July 1st, the excitement was immediately boundless. However, this was not because the chunk was heading for Earth, but because a visitor from another world had just entered our home system. Since the celestial body follows a hyperbolic trajectory and sweeps through the solar system at an incredible speed of 58 kilometers per second, it was clear from the outset that it would not be held in the gravitational grip of our central star. Instead, the roots of 3i Atlas must lie in a completely different star system. And after Oumuamua and Tuai Borisov, it's only the third known object ever to have come to us from interstellar space. The crucial question now, of course, is what exactly this extraordinary guest is? And the answer to that depends primarily on who you ask. Basically, the vast majority of experts are now certain that 3i Atlas is a purely natural comet. However, the internet would not be the internet if this were the only explanation circulating. In fact, some alternative thinkers still believe it's possible that the object is actually something completely different and was deliberately sent to our solar system by an extraterrestrial civilization. Be that as it may, 3i Atlas was initially examined exclusively by ground-based telescopes. These provided initial information about its speed, direction, and activity, and were also able to detect the comet's typical coma. This is the glowing envelope of gas and dust that forms when frozen substances sublimate under the sun's rays, or in other words, when they change directly from a solid to a gaseous state. Furthermore, early spectral measurements showed that this gas envelope has a surprisingly high ratio of CO2 to H2O, which makes it very different from the known comets in the solar system. This is particularly interesting because interstellar objects always act as chemical messengers from their home world and can show how completely different star and planetary systems are structured. But despite all the exciting findings, Earth-based observation also had clear limitations. As mentioned above, 3i Atlas does not move through the solar system at a leisurely snail's pace. Instead, it reaches speeds of up to 250,000 kilometers per hour on its journey. As a result, the object is only visible from favorable angles for a short time, and even small measurement inaccuracies can significantly distort the calculation of its trajectory. From our earthly perspective, it has long been difficult to determine its precise trajectory. Fortunately, however, we are now able to observe celestial bodies from completely different cosmic perspectives and examine them from Mars, for example. 3i Atlas in the sights of the Mars probes. At the beginning of October, a unique observation opportunity arose. 3i Atlas actually passed relatively close to Mars during this phase. At its closest approach, only about 29 million kilometers separated the chunk of rock from the red planet. And for our Mars probes, this was the perfect opportunity to provide us with additional data and images. As a result, the space agencies put virtually everything they had at their disposal to work. And while NASA used the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MAVEN, and Perseverance to photograph 3i Atlas, ESA resorted to the ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter and Mars Express. However, it's in the nature of things that probes that were actually developed for completely different purposes cannot simply be converted into James Webb telescopes overnight. The probe's cameras are primarily designed to take high-resolution images of the Martian surface, not to photograph faint, fast-moving comets tens of millions of kilometers away. In addition, the probes themselves are moving at a speed of about 14,000 kilometers per hour in Mars orbit. But despite all this, our outposts managed to overcome these challenges and photograph 3i Atlas from a unique angle. 
they were about 10 times closer to the interstellar object of desire than our telescopes on Earth, which, however, does not mean that the images are razor sharp. Quite the contrary, the published snapshots show the comet as nothing more than a blurred point of light. Nevertheless, they are of outstanding scientific value. How the new data refines the trajectory As mentioned at the beginning, the observations made by the ESA Mars probes have significantly helped to improve the accuracy of 3i Atlas's trajectory, and to an extent that even surprised those responsible. While the scientists had originally expected only a moderate improvement, the result was a tenfold increase in accuracy. But how does something like this work? How do you get from Mars data to accurate predictions that will enable much more detailed scientific investigations to be carried out in the future? Well, let's take a look at the Trace Gas Orbiter, or TGO for short. Usually, its Cassis camera is used to capture high-resolution images of the reddish, shimmering surface of Mars. But in this case, Cassis was pointed at the Martian sky to capture a tiny, distant comet against the backdrop of the starry sky. However, there was another fundamental factor to consider. Unlike Earth-based telescopes, TGO does not remain in a fixed position. It's constantly moving in the Martian atmosphere. And in order to determine the future position of objects in space, known as ephemerides, it's essential to take into account the exact position of the corresponding observatory. In principle, astronomers are also experienced in this because space telescopes such as Hubble or Webb are known to gaze into the depths of space from orbits close to Earth. But this time, the accuracy of the prediction depended on the exact position of TGO on Mars and in a fast orbit around it. This challenging situation required the collaboration of several ESA teams and partners, as well as consideration of details that are normally negligible. But they succeeded, and the experts managed to use the data to create what is known as triangulation. This means that an object is observed simultaneously from two or more known locations, in this case, from Earth and from space probes in Mars orbit. Each observation point provides a line that shows the direction from which the comet is seen. Where these lines intersect in space is the exact location of the comet at that moment. With multiple perspectives, this creates a three-dimensional triangle that precisely frames the chunk. And the more viewpoints there are, the more accurately the trajectory can be calculated. A test for emergencies, and what's next for 3i Atlas? And that's crucial for our observations in space. Thanks to the improved data, we know for certain that 3i Atlas passed the point in its orbit closest to the Sun, known as the perihelion, on October 29th. In detail, the interstellar visitor rushed past us at a distance of about 270 million kilometers. That is, almost twice the distance between the Sun and the Earth. The chunk will then continue to move at high speed along its hyperbolic trajectory before finally leaving our solar system. This makes it all the more important to know the exact path of 3i Atlas so that we can keep an eye on it for as long as possible. On the one hand, telescopes can continue to track the fading comet. And on the other hand, it is now possible to examine more closely the extent to which the trajectory of 3i Atlas may be influenced by non-gravitational forces. This is because the object has already accelerated during its perihelion in a way that cannot be explained by the influence of gravity alone. However, scientists do not attribute this behavior to a spacecraft that has fired its turbo, but rather to the natural outgassing of volatile substances that act like tiny engines. Corresponding measurements therefore provide information about the mass, activity, and actual structure of the comet's nucleus. But even more significant is the method used to refine the trajectory itself. For the first time ever, a spacecraft was used on another planet to refine the orbit of an interstellar object. And at the end of the day, this is not only important for the further observation of 3i Atlas, but also in the event that we actually find ourselves in the crosshairs of a space rock. Even though 3i Atlas poses no danger, this was still a valuable exercise for our planetary defense. ESA regularly monitors near-Earth asteroids and comets and calculates their orbits so that warnings can be issued in case of an emergency. And as we now know, it can be useful to supplement data from Earth with observations from another location in space. A probe can be closer to a potentially dangerous object and provide more precise information. 
Yet ESA officials do not rely solely on such a constellation actually occurring. Since the Sun makes asteroid observations difficult due to its bright glare and occasionally causes blind spots in space, ESA is currently preparing the NEO-MIR mission. This stands for Near-Earth Object Mission in the Infrared and refers to an infrared telescope between the Sun and Earth that can detect all asteroids with a diameter of 20 meters or more at least three weeks before impact. And if you click on the button below our video, you can see how a new subscription unfolds. Feel free to press the thumbs up button and subscribe so you never miss a new post from us again. See you soon.